Trucks going on guys, Moose 78 back at you with another American Truck Sim video. This is my Let's Play series, Stories on the Road. Upload this every Tuesday and Thursday. How you guys doing today? Hope you're all doing quite well. You guys can probably tell I'm a little bit excited today because, uh, well, two reasons. One, the mailman came uh, about four or five hours early today. Second reason is uh, what he brought in the mail, and that is my SKRS shifter from CSIO Technologies. I uh, wasn't expecting it till this afternoon, but uh, got ready to sit down and record this episode today. And just on a hunch, I figured, well, I'm just going to check the mail just because. Open the door, and right there it was. So pretty stoked about that. Got it all set up and using it just a little bit to kind of get used to it. And uh, the little bit that I've used it, man, this thing is just awesome. I uh, got the option with the Easy Jake. And when I first, you know, when I looked at it online on their website, I thought it looked kind of big, kind of bulky. So I was kind of, kind of on the fence about getting it. But when I got it, opened it up and looked at it, I was like, wow, that is not that big at all. It's not really much bigger than uh, the stock shifter. So that's pretty good, but uh, man, this thing is nice. Shifts super, super smooth now. And you can float gears like an absolute boss with this thing. So that's pretty cool. But uh, man, it just makes shifting gears so much easier now. Switching from, you know, high to low, your range, all that stuff is just so, so much easier now. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Uh, this is going to be my first actual trip with it. Uh, today we are back in the 579, kind of, you know, mixing it up a little bit. I haven't used the 579 for quite a while. I uh, was looking at some old screenshots and uh, kind of got nostalgic. So I figured, yeah, we'll hop back into this uh, maybe for an episode or two. And today we are pulling uh, this load of lumber on this uh, little Manac flatbed. And uh, I do need to change out the wheels on this because those are looking, looking kind of rough. But uh, we're taking this load of lumber over to... HMS Machinery and Page, Arizona. So this will probably be a multi-part episode, and that's okay because, man, do we got a lot of stuff to go over today. Of course, we'll be talking a lot about the SKRS. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get her fired up here. But first, we'll look at the route. And I was going to think about hopping over to Fresno and going over this way and going through Vegas, but that added about three hours to the trip. So we're just going to go with the route that uh, they have uh, planned out for us, going through Bakersfield, Barstow, through Kingman, up through Flagstaff, and ultimately up to Page. Now, I was watching a video the other day. We might do it at the end of this episode, but uh, around here, you can actually get right to the Utah state line. So is Utah going to be the next state that we get? Kind of, Kind of seems like that. But uh, we might get up there and explore that just a little bit. But uh, that video was, uh, I believe, from Gunners Gaming. So credit to him for finding that. But yeah, that was pretty, pretty scenic up there. It looked just amazing. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started up and go out here and get after it. Wait for the air to build up just a second. There we go. Man, the way this thing shifts now, it is just super buttery smooth. I just cannot get over it. And it's not, the shifter is not all that big and bulky. So that's kind of nice. But uh, the height of it just kind of gives you just enough leverage to really just put the gear right in with no issues whatsoever. Oh man, this is one of the, guy's going to have to wait. And I do got it set up for an 18 speed transmission. Just follow the tutorial over on the CSIO YouTube channel. Link for that will be down in the video description.
this is one of the more scenic parts of California, in my opinion. Oceanside. Really like coming down through this way. But yeah, it seems like uh, CSIO is kind of starting to get the pre-order shipped out. I know I had ordered mine back on June 1st. And uh, looking at their Facebook page, seems like they're uh, on that, uh, you know, more than anything. You know, I just see more and more posts of people that order theirs right around my, uh, ordered mine right around the time that I did. Their orders are now shipping out and everything like that. So that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, seeing they hired, gosh, looks like maybe five. They might total that might have like five, six people now, which is pretty stinking awesome for those guys. And we're just going to go straight. I don't want to cut up through that area. We'll just go on down this way. I'm not going to be tearing up through here too terribly fast. Pretty curvy, pretty windy. But yeah, I was just pumped when I seen that uh, this morning out on the doorstep because I was tracking it and it looks like it should have got here yesterday but for whatever reason there was just a delay from getting you know from one post office to my post office because I was looking for it yesterday and then uh, after the mail ran it didn't show up I'm like ah and then I tracked it online and it got to the post office right about the time my mail delivered so I was a little bit bummed about that but uh, yeah, pretty excited though this morning. Check out there and see it out there already because the mail never, ever runs that early in my neighborhood. I mean, ever. Man, that scenery is looking good. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just pumped today, guys. I'm just excited. Been waiting forever to get this thing in. It's finally here, finally get to play around with it. So this will probably get me back into ATS a little bit more. Have not been playing it a whole lot. I know I said that to the last couple of episodes about the only time I play it now is uh, when I sit down to record uh, any ATS content. Coming up on Santa Cruz here. Use the Easy Jake. Man, that's just so daggone convenient having all that functionality you know on the shifter now just like you would a real truck so that is definitely adding to the experience it's like the sun's getting ready to set looking good back there This is, this is the berries. This thing is pretty freaking legit. Might have to pop out here and grab a quick screenshot though. Use that for our thumbnail for this episode. Unless I take like another one that I think is better, then we'll use that one. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on uh, in the ATS community. If you saw yesterday's video, a uh, link for that will be down in the description if you missed it. But just going over a little bit of news, uh, SES posted some stuff on their blog, some screenshots of the Rescale. Donner Pass was on there. New rest area was on there. Some stuff that they're fixing, so a lot of cool stuff there. Then we just talked a little bit more about uh, our map Rescale discussion. And 
one thing I really like about this now. I can go in too high. So we can go through all 18. Like a boss. Like a freaking boss. Yeah, that is pretty stinking convenient. Oh, yeah. Run that red light, sucker. But I've uh, been getting some other content up on the channel finally. Uh, things have just been kind of crazy busy. You know, summer kind of winded down. And all that fun stuff. But uh, I did get some Overwatch content up the other day. So that was kind of nice. Uh, Going to have some Battlefield stuff going up tomorrow. Just some uh, highlights of uh, a round I had on Lang King Dam with uh, some of the guys. Looking to get more stuff like that up. Just some pub play with uh, the guys and all that stuff. Maybe some competitive footage. I still got to uh, kind of, kind of see about that. What the, you know, what kind of the rules are on that. Maybe if anything, just kind of post it with, you know, no comms or anything like that. Just uh, game audio. But uh, we'll see about that. But you know, I have been playing quite a few pubs, so there'll be plenty of footage to, uh, you know, kind of go up there. It's almost like it reverted back to a 13 speed. Might have to take a look at that here in a second. Might have to take a look at that here in a second. Take a quick, quick look at that. Apologize, guys. So I know a second ago it was set up. Eight shifter. Good there. Eaton Fuller 18 speed. Okay, so it's set up right in the controls. I just wonder for some reason. If for some reason. The truck itself reverted back to a 13 speed, which wouldn't make a lot of sense. figure it out I guess
But uh, yeah, back to the battle, battle, blah, blah, blah. back to the battlefield stuff, as they say in my country. Easy for me to say, right? But uh, back to the battlefield stuff. Pretty excited. Uh, like I said, I'm doing a lot of pub play, getting ready for season three of the Champions Combat Series, which is officially underway now. Uh, first match is this Saturday. Pretty excited about that. Been uh, doing some scrims and everything. Kind of getting the rust knocked off there. Uh, been pretty fun. I think the team composition's coming along quite nicely. Yeah, just right there, it's not going into six high. Don't know why. And then... Ba -ba -ba -boo. So I'm going to check and see if I'm around a service station. Because I, I just got this hunch. Let's see what? No, we're not going to stinking go there. I'm going to keep going down this way. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, there's a... We'll mark that. We'll mark that. We'll stop that uh, service station there in Bakersfield and check this out. Because I think for whatever reason... When I was getting it set up, I was, you know, getting in and out of game. And, uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't think it saved some of the changes that I made. Try to go to seven low. There's nothing there. It's like this is like the top gear that I can uh, put it in. So I bet you anything that one of the times that I exit out of the game, it didn't save it to the 18 speed transmission that it, uh, that I had switched to and purchased for the truck. Not a huge dealio. So yeah, I'll be using this uh, SKRS, of course, from now on now, but I'll use it uh, here the next few days. Did a review up on the channel, hopefully next week, but I want to give myself enough time to use it, kind of get used to it. See if there's any kind of bugs or anything like that. Doesn't seem like it seems pretty, you know, pretty straightforward. You know, I plugged it in and, you know, the driver's installed, all that good stuff. The game recognized it first time. So that was nice. But yeah, this does make shifting like a hundred times better. Service station is where? Where, where, where? Should just be right up ahead here, not too far. Dropping four high because we can now. But yeah, also, uh, gosh, forgot to mention early on the video, got the new system up and running. Pretty stoked about that. Just uh, some small upgrades. New motherboard uh, upgraded to an i7 6700K. Man, that thing is pretty damn nice. It's The system feels a lot more stable than uh, my other system did, if that makes sense. But uh, we'll, we'll go into that a little bit more the next episode. Service station is right over Yeah. Alright, 
where, oh where? Is it up here on the left? No, that can't be it, can it? That gummit. Uh, uh, it's a garage. Okay, not a service station. That's the place I want. So can I go down here and turn around? Uh, maybe I can turn around down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can probably pop out here for a second. I bet you I can. I'm just going to turn around right over here. Trailer's not too gosh awful long, so. Right, I'll shoot, I bet you I can just drive right through here. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, for not playing this a whole lot over the last uh, few weeks, not going too bad this episode. Not too shabby. Getting used to, uh, the new shifter, get everything set up on the new system, which uh, that went surprisingly smooth. I was pretty pleased with that. You know, the track IR took right off the first time. No issues with that. Wasn't acting buggy. Got the wheel hooked up, installed, no problems. get over how just how slick that is you know as uncle jesse used to say just slicker than deer gut on a doorknob i don't even care that i got a speeding ticket i don't even care i got my skrs i don't care what we're going to do here is kill the truck because you know a tradition restart the truck drop her down Lolo okay we're back in one because that's going to take three days to get over there in Lolo Probably what we're going to do here is we're going to check, make sure the, uh, you know, my suspicions are correct, and I'm pretty sure they are. Go and kill the truck. We'll just repair it real quick, because remember, uh, early on in the episode, we took out that uh, road sign. Uh, engine, there we go. Transmission, yeah, that's what I thought. I defaulted back to the one that I had before, so we're just gonna scroll the old scroll the old on down here. 18 speeds, there we go. 433. 19.72. I really don't know what any of this means, so pretty sure that's the gears. If I am not mistaken. But as far as that goes, I have no idea. Uh, da, da, da. 
Dun, dun. No, we don't want no stinking ultra shift. Ain't nobody got time for no ultra shift. There we go. We'll go with that guy. 433. Seems good, I guess. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to get this thing parked. I'm going to take a quick rest. Give the driver some rest because he's probably, yeah, he's getting, he's getting sleepy on us. So we will pick this up in part two as we continue on to page and see where we're at here. I don't think we made it too, eh, we didn't, not too bad. I'd say we're about the halfway point. So yeah, next episode, we will continue on to page. Of course, we'll talk a little bit more about the SKRS and some other stuff going on. But guys, that's going to do it for today. If you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, Follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.